bloody year. The consensus was that real estate values, they were going to tank. But yet the top real estate market in Massachusetts saw an average sales price increase of nearly 30%. We saw 202 markets out of the 252 markets in the state see home values increase in 2023. So it's safe to say that for most homeowners, it was a pretty good year throughout the state of Massachusetts. In this video, we're going to go over the top 10 appreciating markets for single family homes in the state of Massachusetts for 2023. So how did we come about this data? Well, we used the primary MLS in the state, which is MLS PIN. We excluded any towns that had less than 30 sales in either 2022 or 2023, because that's not enough data for a complete analysis. Now, let's get into the data. That's the fun part. The 10th best appreciating town in Massachusetts for 2023 was Westboro, Massachusetts. Now, Westboro saw 98 sales for an average sales price of $890,605. While the sales levels were down 30.5%, home values in Westboro, Mass, were actually up by 17.1% in 2023. The ninth best appreciating town was Lunenburg, Massachusetts. Now, Lunenburg had 127 single family houses sell in 2023. This equates to a 9.3% decrease in sales while their $573,270 average sales price equated to a 17.4% increase in pricing. The eighth highest appreciating town in Massachusetts was Ashburnham. Ashburnham had 78 single-family homes closed in 2023 for an average sales price of $470,137, and they had a 12.4% decrease in sales and a 17.4% increase in pricing in 2023. The seventh best performing town in Massachusetts for 2023 was Holland. Now, Holland, Massachusetts saw 30 home sales for an average sales price of $376,563. This means that Holland saw a 31.8% decrease in sales with a 19.1% increase in pricing. The sixth best performing town in Massachusetts was Groton, Mass. Now, in 2023, Groton saw 93 homes close for an average sales price of $872,700. Now, the 93 home sales represented an 18.4% decrease in sales levels, while the $873,000 sales price represented a 20.9% appreciation rate. The fifth highest appreciating town in Massachusetts goes to Boylston, Mass. Now, Boylston saw a 34% decrease in sales levels as they sold 33 homes for an average sales price of $881,417 in 2023. The average sales price was up 22.3% in Boylston, though. And on to the number four spot, the fourth best performing town in Massachusetts. It goes to Amden, Mass. Now, Amden was actually the only town that saw the amount of sales increase year over year. The only town in the top 10, that is. Hamden had 50 single-family homes sell for an average sales price of $441,758. Now, the 50 units sold represents a 16.3% increase in sales, while the $442,000 average asking price equated to a 23.7% appreciation rate. The third highest appreciating town was Manchester, Massachusetts. Now, Manchester saw a 37% decline in sales with their 34 single-family homes sold in 2023. Now, these 34 houses had an average sales price of $2,158,857. This means that Manchester saw the average home price jump by 25.5% for 2023. Now, under the second highest appreciating town, which goes to Groveland, Massachusetts. Groveland saw 43 homes closed for an average sales price of $732,069. Now, sales levels were down a top 10 high of 38.6%, while the average home price was up 28.5% for 2023. And this leads us to the top performing town for the state of Massachusetts in 2023. Beverly had 182 homes closed for an average sales price of $945,531. Now, the 182 houses were 87 units or 32.3% off of last year's sales numbers with 269 units close. The average home price in Beverly shot up 29.6% in 2023 as the average price in 2022 was $729,857. There were 50 markets in Massachusetts that saw housing prices go down. Be on the lookout for the top 10 depreciating downs of 2023. I was pretty surprised by a couple of names on that list, quite frankly. And let me know if you have any questions. Now, you can drop me a line in that comment section below, or 
I invite you to reach out to me as all of my contact information is in that description below as well. And as always, I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind should you or anyone you know be thinking about buying or selling a house in 2024. Until next time.